All right, these next couple examples are direct variation. And we know that direct variation, the standard form, the easiest way to identify it is y equals kx. We have x and y, and where k is the, the, the coefficient or the constant in front of x, like it's the, the change. What's the change, the direct change that's going to vary the two, right? So we want to know, are either of these direct variation? And if so, what is the k value? Um, so first we want to make sure it's in this format. So it looks as though this first example, y equals negative 4x, is already in this format. I can line up my y, my equal sign, my x's, and the only thing left, it looks like my negative 4 is right where my k would be. So for this one, I'm going to say yes, and my k equals negative 4. Now looking at example number two, it does look a little different. What do we have here? We have this additional plus two. That's going to cause it not to be a direct variation. Something else is going on besides the coefficient, right? Besides what's changing the x value, we're always going to have this additional plus two. Um, and, and it's kind of, you know, going to not fit into our format of y equals kx, right? This would be direct variation. This is not direct variation, so I'm going to say no on this one. And it's just as simple as that. You just want to make sure it's in this format, line everything up. If so, what's your k value?